Today we're going to look at some of the basic functions of the eTrack Recreational Grade GPS. I'm going to point out for you some of the buttons on the GPS and then show you how to turn it on and then use it to actually locate some waypoints. So the first thing we want to do is just kind of point the buttons out on the GPS. On the right hand side on the top, this button right here, this is your page button. There are multiple screens on the GPS and if you hit that page button, it's like turning the page of a book, it cycles through them. This bottom button down here, this is your power button. So when you power the GPS on, you're just going to push that, hold that in for just a second. You're going to see the screen come to life here. And um, this button also functions as a light button. So if you're in a real dimly lit um, area, you can actually just push this button just quickly. A light comes on and it makes it easier to see the display. On the other side of the GPS, these two buttons here, those are your page up and down buttons. So if I'm going through different menus, I can use the page up and down arrows to go to the different menus. When I get to the menu I'd like to select, I hit this button here, which is my enter button. Just like hitting the enter key on a keyboard, this is the button you use to select an item. Next we're going to turn on the GPS, and I'll show you how this screen appears here. I'm just going to press this power button once, You'll notice that your e-tracks come to life, so you have a guy walking along, and very quickly you're going to see your satellite screen. Now one of the things I want you to notice here on your satellite screen, these are the satellites that is actually communicating with the GPS receiver. And you notice that as I get more satellites, that my message changes from waiting for satellites to ready to navigate. Now, and you notice also that my accuracy is jumping down, so it was at 133, now it's at 74. As I get more satellites, you're going to see that number go down. So we're going to sit and we're going to wait for that to go down just a little bit. Now as we do that, I'd just like to take you through some of the pages and show you what each of the pages do as we get ready to look at waypoints. So I'm going to take this page button right up on top up here, and I'm just going to press it once. It's going to cycle through to the map screen. I'm going to press it again. It's going to cycle to the, the, uh, Jeep, or the compass screen. Once again, it cycles to the trip screen. And then the last page is the menu page. And that basically is, is where you can uh, make your selections for marking and, and selecting waypoints and different things. Now, when I hit that page button again, it's going to go right back to the satellite screen. You notice my accuracy is a little bit better. And if I were outside, we'd see even better results than what we do here. Now that we've let the satellite or the GPS sit for a little bit, you notice that we have navigation at up to our accuracy to 20 feet to 23 feet. That jumps around a little bit depending on the satellites. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually use this to go and select the waypoints that have already entered into the GPS to show you how easy it is to start the GPS tracking uh, waypoints that exist in the unit. So I'm going to use my page button once again. I'm going to page once to the map page page again, and that's going to get me to the compass page, again to the trip page, and then the last page here is the menu page. Now, because I want to look at waypoints, I'm going to have to use my arrow keys to arrow down, one, and then when I get to waypoints again, remember this is your enter button, so we're going to use this to select waypoints, and it's going to get me to the waypoints menu. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is that it actually categorizes the waypoints. First, the numerical waypoints, like you see here, and then it's going to uh, do the alphabetical listings as well. And you can see how it's breaking those out according to uh, different letters. Now, if I want to get over to this side of the screen, what I have to do is I have to select a 009. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to hit the enter key once, and that's going to take and that's going to jump that selection bar over to the 001 waypoints. Now, let's say, for example, I want waypoint 004. I'm going to arrow down once, twice, three times until it gets to 004. And because that's the one that I want to select, I'm going to hit my Enter button. It's going to select that waypoint. And now we've got a different screen. This is asking me to review the waypoint. Is this the one I want? Is this the latitude longitude? And as long as this is the one I want, all I have to do, again, because that selection bar is in the Go To window, just click and hold it. And that's going to take me to the Compass page. Now this is what it's telling me. So this, this is nice. This compass page is saying, okay, you're going to waypoint number 004, and it's 163 miles away. 
And right now, because I am not moving, it's telling me that my speed is zero. As I start to move, that speed is going to increase. As I start to get closer to that waypoint, it's going to actually decrease. These numbers are going to decrease. Now, the nice thing about uh, this GPS is we have a compass. But with the recreational grade GPS, it's not an electronic compass. So this compass will only work if you're moving. Sometimes it's confusing because if you're walking north, your compass might be pointing actually in an easterly direction. And um, when you start to move and those GPS satellites, signals come down, the GPS then has the ability to take and calculate in what direction you're moving. So you may see this arrow change a little bit as you start to move, but eventually it will take you in the right direction. The only other thing that you should remember is that as you get closer and closer, now this GPS uh, waypoint is very far away. The way that the GPS works is it tracks in miles until it gets to about 500 feet. And when you get to 500 feet or less, it actually switches from point, uh, 0.1 miles back down to feet. And so that's your indication that you're getting closer. So if it goes from miles to feet, you know that you're getting close. And eventually, it's going to get you within a range of, say, 20 feet of the object. Remember, part of that is based on how many satellites you have. If we navigate back to the satellite screen, you're going to notice that our accuracy is 32 feet. And what that's saying is that when your GPS unit says you are at the waypoint, it could be 35 feet in any direction. And, and depending on where you are, if you're in heavy tree cover, this number can go up. If you're way out on the plains where there's not a lot of uh, trees and there's not a lot of um, obstructions, then that number can go down all the way to, I've seen it in, in uh, like five and six. So you need to keep that in mind that when your GPS says you're there, it's got a, uh, a variance of 36 feet in this case. So just keep that in mind as you're navigating. If you get to a, a waypoint and you are then looking for another waypoint, it's the same procedure we did before. We're going to take and we're going to just use our page button and we're going to just page through those screens until we get to waypoint. And once we get to waypoints, we're going to use our enter key to select. We'll push that. I'm going to jump over to the numbered waypoints. And in this example, I'm going to go down to waypoint number five. I'm going to hit the enter key to select it. I'm going to hit the enter key again when I see that go to selected. And that's going to do the same thing. It's going to take me back to my compass. It's going to tell me how far I have to go. And you notice now that east is pointing in the opposite direction again. That's because this is not an electronic compass. When I start to move, it's going to tell me what direction I need to then turn or what direction I need to go. And that's about all you have to do to find waypoints on a GPS.